education series from YouTube tutorials. Today I'm using as my material this from the MATLAB Central and MATLAB for new users and we're just looking at the statistical toolbox and the curve fitting toolbox. We're not doing all of it. As you see this example is excellent and it does multiple linear regression stepwise etc and then it does some more machine learning down the end SVMs or support vector regression regression trees etc and bag decision trees so we're not doing that what are we doing with the same example but I ran the code and we're just looking at the published code here in the HTML file so we're just in the, the basic end which will just give us some idea so there's a supplied file of car data and that would give you whether it's a truck or a car it's horsepower it's miles per gallon whether it ran in the city whether it ran in the highway so there's 2,595 know, for horsepower mpg co2 etc first plot up okay so as we would expect on the dependent axis the y-axis is miles per gallon and the independent axis the x-axis is the horsepower and we think that the miles per gallon is somehow dependent on the rate of horsepower in this bit here we extract you know the car truck the city highway the car ids the truck ids etc so we're just trying to extract information out of the table that we read in there okay the code is there and just you can get it yourself it's just a comment on it here so here in purple we have the city data uh, there's the green and then we put we try to fit uh, the distribution to it and you can see that it's looking quite normal uh, the kurtosis or the peakiness here is quite high for uh, the city and for the highway the kurtosis is not as high now we're getting into the data visualization the data analysis here so we just did a group scatter and we have the different groups here which is plotted in different colors so you get a better visualization of what's going on so we have horsepower and miles per gallon horsepower on x miles per gallon on y here we dig out some basic data like the mean rated mpg the mean rated horsepower the count etc and now we do some uh, analysis of variance and we're doing n way here so here the probability that the three me that the means for the vehicle types are the same is zero so we think that the mean for the, the different vehicle types are different well, it says zero here the mean for the mpg for is the same the probability that the mean for the different mpg types is the same is zero so in other words we think there is a difference between mpg and we think here that the difference between the mpg type and vehicle type that the interaction is also zero so there are just the three zeros there we look at some box plots down here and you can see here in the box plots we can see here in the box plots that there, the red is the median then we have the upper and lower quartile and then we in the whiskers we have the remaining 25% and you would have met that in your statistics class and you would have known what a box plot is and you can see here just to emphasize from the n-way and ova up above there's the the means and you can see that they're all over the place so the chances of them being the same are quite low and this is reflected by the probability of zero here we did some basic curve fitting here it just did a 
there's our line of best fit mpg is to b1 the um uh, the intercept and b2 the slope but and we're seeing it's one over the rated horsepower so it's a one over x call up the curve fitting tool and okay and then here we extract the different uh, linear models so this is for car and city the next one is car and highway the next one is truck and city and truck and highway so we're getting four different linear models uh, we get the intercept and the 95 percent confidence balance there there's the slope and there's uh, the slope is 2663 and we get the 95 percent confidence balance there so that would be for car and city then it's car highway etc okay hope that helps a little and thanks very much for listening